Good evening and bloody welcome to Summer Night Murder Mystery Sinking Island. So, hmm. In the previous episode, I was about to knock on the door to sweet. 152 perhaps? Uh, let's find out in a sec. Yeah, to suite 152. So let's see if there is anybody home. Come in, because you obviously can't wait. Okay, so this is Clara's and Billy's suite. Uh, we have met Billy in, I think it was in the previous episode. So let's talk to his wife, Clara. I rather like being interviewed. Go on, sir. An autograph, too? This menu seems utterly appetizing. Tell me, what are we eating today? I love cooking, and I do pretty well. But I'd be utterly incapable of making any of the dishes on this wretched menu. That's too bad. This tower on this wild island, far from everything, isn't it madness? Tell me, Inspector. Are you here to have a good time or to conduct an investigation? Well, why not both? What luxury. For some, the world is all roses. But where did the staff go? I don't see them. Old Man Jones threw out all his staff to force his children to handle everything. And I certainly don't like playing the maid. Okay. What reasons could Billy have had for hating his grandfather? How can you love someone who never helped you even when he had the power? I know my Billy sometimes abuses money, but Walter Jones was really heartless. He never lifted even his little finger to get Billy out of his problems. Yeah, and as it turned out in the previous episode, uh, Billy got a lot of gambling debts, so that is why. So, tell me a little about Billy. Billy is not a solid and mature man on whom one can rely, Inspector. My life with him is not always easy, but he makes me laugh and amuses me. And he still surprises me after all these years. So, what can I say? Thank you. Okay, so that was about it, I think. I don't seem to be able to hmm, interact with anything here. Can I go into the bedroom? That is the question. Stop this search immediately, or I'll call your superior and file a complaint. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. So, no, the answer is I can't go into the bedroom. And I wonder why, but, well, I guess they do want some kind of privacy, and Clara is the most liked person in... Uh, in this uh, group of people. Um, at least that's what it seems like, so... I don't find her suspicious at all. Not at this point, uh, anyway. So let's go... back to the elevator and head up to floor number 16. So, there we got 16. Suite 161 is out of order. No point in insisting. This is bolted. Okay, so... The door is bolted shut. 
and out of order for what reason I wonder uh, I don't think this will work but let's no it won't definitely not work uh, no I thought that maybe I can use the knife on this door but no I cannot so let's knock on sweet hundred and sixty two I need a key okay so well I have already tried this but why not try it again let's see if we can pick the lock this is not possible it doesn't this seem to be is... working. I'm not getting it. It's impossible. Okay, so uh, Jack Norm is unable to pick locks then. So let's head up to floor 17 and see if we can find anyone to talk to up there. Lorenzo, oh. do you want to help me open this machine? My laundry is stuck inside and it's blocked. Oh, so this is the technical workshop then. Good, there is Lorenzo the architect. Let's see. Can't Just the beat. man that I want to speak hmm. to. The door is not opening. The lights are all off. Oh, okay. Well, there must be some problem with the electric supply. I'll take care of it, Sonia. Will it be a while? Tell you the truth, I haven't the slightest idea. Hmm. So he is also good with technical stuff. Or maybe not. Well, let's talk to Sonia. I need you to enlighten me on a point. I think your name was. Sorry, but I understand nothing about architecture. I would like to have some things in this sketchbook explained. You'd better ask Lorenzo for this, Inspector Norm. Yeah, I better. And I will. What did Walter Jones tell you regarding his estate? My grandfather brought us together to tell us about his will. He told us that we, my brothers and I, were his heirs. It might be true, but it doesn't change my feelings for him in any way. You can't buy me, Mr. Norm. Well, I wasn't trying to. This menu seems utterly appetizing. Tell me, what are we eating today? Don't get your hopes up, Inspector. Wasn't the chef recently laid off? Yeah, he was. This tower on this wild island, far from everything, isn't it madness? My grandfather asked me to write up a section on history for this pamphlet. I'm an anthropologist by training, specializing in the arts of the Americas and Oceania, and I'm very interested in Maldivian culture. But in the end, what I wrote was cut. Okay, so she didn't write the tourist pamphlet or did she write some of it but it got cut well anyway it doesn't matter what luxury for some the world is all roses but where did the staff go I don't see them I don't know you have to ask Noland he's the one in charge of these practical questions this building is kind of a megalomaniacal gesture, I must say. So big and such a small and wretched place. Still, I'm sorry that the exercise rooms with pool, sauna, and natural thermal baths were not constructed. That would really have been awesome, don't you think? It sure would. So let's talk to her about Billy. What reasons could Billy have had for hating his grandfather? For hating him? Plenty. For killing him? If that's where you want to go, None. Walter Jones never liked the side of him that was irresponsible and gambled, and he told him more than once. Billy is sometimes in dire financial straits, and our grandfather never helped him. That's why they didn't get along. But I'll tell you again, my brother is a peach, and would never hurt a soul. Yeah, well, I kind of believe her. But in the same time, if... Billy got a lot of depth and he got a chance to inherit money from Walter Jones then maybe 
Just maybe. He is the murderer. But, uh, well, let's talk to her about Nolan. If Nolan is to be believed, the young Baina literally cast a spell on Walter Jones. What do you know about this? Mr. Norm, I don't have any illusions about my grandfather's morality, and Baina is far from being stupid. She knows that Walter Jones is a very rich man, and I believe she's very capable of using her charms with some talent. Okay, yeah, I can see that. So, let's talk to her about Billy again. So, tell me a little about Billy. I love my brother, Inspector, but he worries me sometimes. He loves to gamble too much, and I'm afraid that he's throwing his career to the wind because of this. And what career might that be? Hmm. As a piano player? I don't know what his profession is, but I think I can find out about that later. Perhaps? Well, let's talk to her about Christine. What do you think of Christina? Christina's body is an asset. I suppose it hasn't escaped you, Inspector. And she knows perfectly well how to make the most of what nature has given her. She seduces with the same ease with which others breathe. Okay, so she isn't fond of Christina then. I would like to know more about Martin. Martin is my husband and I'm happy with him, Inspector. All is said or almost. I admire my husband and I admire his professional courage. It's not a secret. Martin has financial problems with his publishing firm, but I am by his side. Okay. I quite haven't got the hang of Martin yet. He is a pretty anonymous, I would say. Uh, he's either good or or he's neither good or bad. Um, so I, I don't find him as a suspect as of now. Let's ask her about Marco, her other brother. What can you tell me about Marco? Marco is my darling younger brother, Inspector. What else can I tell you? I will always be there for him no matter what happens. Okay, no matter what happens, she will be there for him. Hmm. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, Billy, Marco, and whatever her name is that I am talking to now, uh, the three of them were playing poker on the night when the murder was committed. Hmm. Does that mean that they really were playing poker or are they just covering up for each other? Hmm. That is the question. Let's talk to her about what Clara. What can you tell me about Clara? I like my sister-in-law very much, Inspector. Clara reminds me of my grandmother, Anna Jones. The same kindness. Sure, I see. Okay, so... Everybody seems to just love Clara. Um, hmm... Someone is getting a phone call. Okay, what is she saying? It would be interesting to hear what she said. But I didn't hear a thing. Let's Just talk to her about question. that. I won't be here for long. Excuse me, I am distracted. Or I not. have what I need. See you later. Okay, so... Uh, 
what was that phone call about? Maybe the game bugged out a little so I couldn't hear the conversation. It's weird either way. So let's talk about... Not about, but let's talk with Lorenzo. Sure, I won't further your investigation, Inspector, but tell me anyway. Okay. Sorry, but I understand nothing about architecture. I would like to have some things in this sketchbook explained. The tower was designed according to all the rules of the art, and with respect for anti-seismic norms, according to its initial dimensions. It wasn't designed for Walter Jones's newest whims, you understand? Jones wanted to add ten new floors to the tower. He asked me to do a study to reinforce the foundation with this unexpected additional burden, but I knew it was impossible. It was totally impossible. Today, the risk of it sinking is real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the island is about to sink. Uh, I would guess it is roughly two days left until the island sinks. Maybe three. I'm not sure. Uh, time will tell. So let's talk to him about this file right here. What relations did you maintain with Jones? Our points of view diverged and our relationship became tense, to say the least. And today I, I find myself trapped in this position as a manager. Oh, I've no doubt that I shouldn't have accepted the job, Norm. Okay. Let's continue. What did you do after having received the orders to continue the construction from Jones? I wasn't very reassured by the opinion of the experts who didn't even take the trouble to come to Sagora. But I agreed to resume the construction anyway. And then, to strengthen the tower in order to save it, despite Jones's raving megalomania, well, I was the only one who could do it. The tower, you see, it's... It's my life's work, you understand? Okay, so... He... Thinks about the tower as... His life's work. So, is that the reason to commit a murder? Maybe if his life's work was threatened. Maybe he thinks that Walter Jones went a little overboard with all the projects. And... Lorenzo doesn't want to see his life's work sink into the ocean. So in order to stop Walter Jones from adding floors and other construction work to the tower, Maybe Lorenzo did the drastic thing uh, as to pushing Walter Jones down from the cliff. Hmm. Yeah, perhaps. So. Well, yeah, now I actually consider Lorenzo to be not the prime suspect, but at least one of the suspects. So let's continue. Lorenzo, what did you do after receiving the new orders from Walter Jones asking you to stop the construction? I was patient, Norm. I waited for Jones to come back to his senses and, and to finally understand my predictions about the instability of the tower. That came with this letter. Even if I don't like unfinished work, it was a reasonable decision. Okay. 
What did Walter Jones tell you regarding his estate? I wasn't sleeping with Walter Jones, and I was no longer his confidant. So go look for your clues in the minds of the heirs, Norm. You'll find something to feed your curiosity. Is that so? Or is he just saying that? Because he is the murderer. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure yet. And there is a lot of pieces missing to the puzzle that is this uh, murder investigation. Well, let's continue talk to him about uh, the restaurant menu. This menu seems utterly appetizing. Tell me, what are we eating today? The French chef was recently dismissed. So, we're all counting on Clara's talent to elaborate a recipe for sunny side up eggs. <laughs> okay. So, exit is. This tower on this wild island, far from everything, isn't it madness? This pamphlet's nothing but hogwash. You're right to doubt it, Norm. Okay. What luxury. For some, the world is all roses. But where did the staff go? I don't see them. Well, all the staff of the tower was recently fired. And as much as I can, I'm obliged to ensure the continuity of all the functions while we await the passing of power. Okay. Why did I find this in your things, Lorenzo? I expect to find this kind of paper in Nolan's office. Nolan put me in charge of firing the employees. He just gave me the file that comes with it. Okay. For what reason was the hotel staff fired? Mr. Jones had hired these Maledivians to please Colio, and he thereby hoped to have him abandon the lawsuit he'd filed against Jones to drive him out of Segura. After that, he was quick to be rid of them. That's how Mr. Jones treated people. And now I'm faced with the maintenance of the tower on my shoulders alone. Okay, so... Hmm, Lorenzo seems displeased that that uh, the res uh, responsibility for the tower rests on his shoulders so hmm now I don't think that Lorenzo is the murderer after all but I got a new theory and that is what if everyone that I have spoken to so far is innocent maybe none of them is uh, the murderer Maybe the murderer is one of the former staff members that got fired, but is losing one's job reason enough to commit the murder? I would say no, but you never know you never know but it is very far-fetched that we haven't spoken to the murderer yet so I would guess that so that uh, well some of the persons that I've talked to so far is behind the murder of Walter Jones. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much the theory that I got right now. And it isn't much of a theory because I didn't reach a conclusion. So. 
Well, anyway, let's continue with the conversation. What happened to the maintenance staff of the tower after that? I don't know anything, Norm. All I know is that Kolyo's friends were fired like dirt. It's now been 15 days. So, approximately two weeks have passed since they got fired. And one of them committed the murder now. Nah, it just doesn't add up. Hmm. Let's continue the conversation. Hmm. A hotel of this size, deprived of all its staff. It's a darn problem, I'd say. Tell me about it, Norm. I think the way the friends of old man Colio were fired from here was utterly scandalous. And so, all the dirty work has fallen on me. I can't take care of the maintenance of this tower all by myself, can I? So, as Jones asked before he died, the heirs would only have the same standing as local personnel who've been withdrawn. An excellent occasion to prove that they're not idlers and good-for-nothings. Each one had to contribute to the housework. Okay. I don't understand why Walter Jones continued to construct the tower after this verdict. I don't understand either. I knew that he was taking risks by continuing to build like this. But what do, we, what do you want? I, I mean, I was his architect, not his attorney. Mm -hmm. Walter Jones was cheated well and good. But did he appeal this judgment? You have to know how to lose. Mr. Jones did not swindle. Okay. Jones was not the type to take a verdict like this lying down. What's the status of the appeal? Nolent is an old fox. The natives of the island had better look out for the worst, in spite of the verdict that was given in their favor. You're okay. taking me for a ride, Mr. Battaglieri. Tell me now what you were doing in the rocks last night. I'm not taking you for a ride. Well, let's see. Well, it is true that I was hiding in the rocks. On leaving the restaurant with Mr. Jones, I knew that he was going to meet Baina, and, and I hated seeing her with him. I said goodbye to Jones under the pretext that I absolutely had to collect the lobster pots that had been damaged by the storm the previous night. I took the elevator to go down to the first floor lobby, and then I ran to the Belvedere. I, I followed Walter Jones on the dirt path of the tortoise Belvedere. Then I, I hid in the rocks from where I saw him stop under the arbor, which was lit not far from the cliff. It, it's the place where Baina meets Joan. Baina? who had seen Jones, joined him, and she walked behind his wheelchair. When they arrived at the edge of the cliff, Jones harassed Baina, who okay. pushed him to defend herself. Well, I, I saw the wheelchair lurch forward and then teeter over the edge. Then I got out of my hiding place and I went close to the edge of the cliff and, and I saw Jones inert in his wheelchair amidst the rocks. His head was covered with blood. I thought that he was dead. Hmm. I immediately came back to try to reassure poor Baina. Then I quickly left the place for fear of being seen. I went back up to my studio. Let me confide something in you, Norm. I'm ashamed I left without informing anyone. I only wanted to protect Baina and not get mixed up in all this. Okay. Intriguing. Very, very intriguing. So, as it seems, Baina is the murderer. Hmm. Everything points to Baina as a murderer. Sure does. So, hmm, let's uh, talk to him about Baina's fingerprints on the wheelchair, which we pretty much got an explanation for already. But let's talk to him about it anyway. The fingerprints on the wheelchair are those of Baina, the beautiful mute. 
Look, Norm, that's no surprise. Baina often accompanied Walter Jones on his outings. And uh, that is uh, Nolan's uh, shoe prints. What was Hubert de Nolan doing at the Belvedere of the Tortoise last night? I now remember that I ran into him at the foot of the tower when I went back up after having tried to gather the lobster traps. He was in quite a rush and he didn't even say hello. Okay. Okay, so... Nolan might be the murderer because Lorenzo didn't see the whole um, not the conclusion but the the accident or the murder or whatever um, because as I understand it his view was somewhat blocked so Nolan might have been the murderer hmm? nah I don't know it seems a little too easy that uh, Baina is the murderer and she is a very small little young woman so does she have the strength enough to push a very large man like Walter Jones off uh, the hillside like that and hmm there is a big mark of blood from I guess it is from Walter Jones Jack in the head uh, or cut I should say in his forehead uh, so it seems like he somehow hit his head against that rock and then fell to his death on the beachhead below hmm I have a lot of theories now but I am unsure which one is uh, correct uh, if you got any theories on who might be the murderer and how the murderer uh, how the murder was committed uh, then please feel free to write a comment because it would be really interesting to see another person's input on this uh, mystery but all pieces of evidence so far points to Baina as the murderer but I I am unsure that she really is the murderer hmm maybe it is Nolan because he were at the scene of the crime and his shoe prints could be found at the scene where the murder was committed so hmm it is a lot of things to think about but well anyways let's move on 
Hubert de Nolan treats you like an incompetent amateur. Of course. But you should know, Inspector, that Nolan and Jones were the only people responsible for the malfunctioning of this tower. And I've got proof of that. Okay. Some people here say that you are totally incompetent. The tower was never completed. So obviously nothing works as it should. Okay, let's continue with the... So, tell me uh, a little about Billy. People here. Billy's a gambler, Inspector. So he knows the real values of life. I hope he finds a way out of his financial problems soon. What do you think of Christina? Ah, Christina. The charming Slav. The celebration of beauty, passion, fury. Oh, yeah, Inspector. Christina is one of those women who makes us turn our heads, poor men that we are. <laughs> okay. I would like to know more about Martin. Martin Abruzzi is haughty and disdainful, Inspector. He pretends to be a courteous and well-raised man, but I'm not fooled. I don't really care for him, to tell you the truth. What can you tell me about Marco? Marco Jones? <laughs> the real son of his grandfather. Selfish, lazy, self-righteous, and corrupt to boot. He's a sycophant, Inspector. What can you tell me about Clara? Clara is a sincere and courageous woman, Inspector. And moreover, a woman who loves a gambler can be nothing but a formidable woman. Hmm, I understand better. Yeah, I think I do too, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. Let's see if I can talk to. I need your assistance to clarify certain uh, points. Excuse whatever me, her name I am is. distracted. No. I have what I need. See you later. I cannot talk to her anymore. So let's head over here and see if I can find something to interact with. No, nothing. It seems to be a kitchen here as well. It's probably where the staff uh, ate their food and had their lunch break and yeah, stuff like that. But I don't seem to, whoops. I don't seem to be able to interact with anything here actually. Not a single thing. No, not there. Hmm. Okay. So let's head back this way then. Since I'm not able to interact with anything, I think, well, maybe I can take a look over here, apparently. What is this? Hmm. It's two bolts, I think, and some buttons there. But what is it? It is some kind of machine. Is it a dishwasher? Perhaps? I cannot do anything. But let's see if I can use my knife and... This is not possible. Nope. I'm not getting it. The bolts, but no, of course I can't. So let's... See if I can find a tool. Hmm. What did I find? A pair of goggles, welding goggles. So there is a blowtorch here somewhere. Is it this one right here? I will certainly be able to use this for something. Okay, what well, was that? Screwdriver. Hmm. Might come in handy. 
that's the blowtorch, I think. This could be useful. And I'm not sure if there is anything else that I can pick up. No. There is a ladder. This could be useful. Or whatever that was. Ah, welding gloves. Uh, that's the blowtorch. And goggles and a screwdriver. Okay, what will I use them for? Hmm. I think that is all that I can pick up. Mm, I don't seem to be able to pick up anything else. So I guess I got what I need to do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use those stuff for, but perhaps it got something to do with this machine right over here. If it's a dishwasher or whatever that is. So I will take a look on that, but I'm not gonna do that right now because it is time to end this episode here. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a good night.